2011 Miami Beach Pro. Hayden and Scott leading in the first set 13 to 8. Well, we told you that Hayden and Scott have been playing domestically. A lot of the other American teams have been playing internationally. We asked both of them if the international Americans coming back had raised the stakes any. Listen. Well, I don't know that the stakes have been raised. I think it's just more of a battle for that top prize money. Um, it, you know, the prize money is the same. The same players we played against for the last five years. So, you know, we know even if they're not here, we got to go out and battle to win. So, you know, it just makes more of a battle. It's great to have all the international players back. I mean, Todd Rogers isn't here because of his knees and Phil sitting out. But uh, having Matt and Nick and Jake and Rosie back, I think, um, you know, just elevates the field and makes it, I guess, a more legitimate tournament. And um, hopefully that'll draw more fans out. You know? You, you know what my mom would say about that? She'd say, Chrissy, liar, liar, pants on fire. It's not great to have them back because they've been winning all the tournaments. Who wants Phil and Todd and all these guys back, the international guys, when Hayden and Scott have been cleaning up? That's, uh, I'm a poker player, and the, the words were saying one thing, but the body language was telling something else, so I'm calling a bluff on that. I'm Chris Marlowe with Kevin Wong, Sean Scott, and John Hayden. Looking solid in this first set. Hayden and Scott winning in Cincinnati two weeks ago, then last week in another tournament, the NBL uh, tournament here in Miami Beach. Uh, they had to withdraw when Sean Scott got food poisoning and reportedly ate a bad chicken sandwich. Not sure what he had for a pregame meal today. What do you eat uh, during the day when you're playing on the beach? What kind of full feuds, uh, fuels do you like? I think you need to have your protein, a good base of protein and carbs. and. Uh, if anyone's going to eat the right thing, it's going to be Sean Scott. Mm -hmm. Now Matt Furbringer serving 13 to 9. Furbringer and Lucena now on the good side. Scott. Chance for point. Furbringer spins. Got it! The last strand on that black stripe. Matt Furbringer. Thanks to the heavens on that one. Two big developments in that play. Number one, Matt Furbringer going aggressively for his serve. Number two, Matt Furbringer making a great play in transition on something that's not really a normal play. Good trouble play for Matt Furbringer right there. A big point there. Cuts the lead to three. Furbringer will serve again. Played a number of years indoor in Europe before switching to the beach. Over the net, Furbringer's got it. On the right side, bang! Matt Furbringer. Furbringer with back-to-back -back plays, but you have to look back at Lucena and him pushing his big guy's buttons, and that's something that a veteran defensive player knows how to do. So Lucena and Furbringer, after a very slow start, they trailed by 6, 10-4, and they now climb to 13-11. Of course, once again, we tell you they're on the good side. The wind is in their face heavily. If you've ever played beach volleyball, you know that's a big advantage. Hit it harder, serve it harder, and the ball will stay in. Here's Sean Scott, and Scott puts it away. How did you as a blocker handle Sean Scott? What's your strategy against him, if you don't mind sharing? That hit he just hit is his favorite hit. It's down the line. If you give him any space on the line, he's so good at ident identifying it and slapping it down. So you have to start there and make your moves from the line. Now Hayden to serve. High set for Bringer. Nice up by Hayden. Lucena with the blast. Lucena. Really making a big push here, but is it too little too late? Right now it's 12-14. They have two more serves from this good side before they have to go back to the bad side. Lucena will serve it. Sean Scott. Set is off and he cuts in the side. Of course, if you follow baseball, you know Sean Scott married to uh, Beach Volleyball's Rachel Walkholder, a terrific player. They just had a youngster. Nyla Ashley, September 15th, along with Koa, their two and a half year old boy. More pressures, more expenses, a new house, mm. lots of pressure this year. Of course, Rachel, a terrific player. Sean can always get some advice from her in terms of his volleyball skills. Lucena, down the line, boy, point. Neither 
neither of these teams utilizing a coach today. And we'll talk more about coaches in a moment. We can tell you that Bud Light Lime is the official beer of the series. And I could use one right now. I'm Chris Marlowe with Kevin Wong. This is the first set of our men's championship final. Nick Lucena and his tall partner, Matt Furbringer. Furbringer coming on now. It's 15-13. Now a serve to Hayden. And Hayden is blocked, gets up. Lucena with the left arm. Lucena. Pops it up, no. And credit Hyden and Scott for not giving up. That's something they do so much be better than anyone else. They grovel, they never give up, they work hard. And it's so demoralizing to give up a point like that. Hyden and Scott, as we mentioned, have been playing on the domestic tour. And it doesn't seem like they're that interested, Kevin, in playing internationally and trying to qualify for 2012. Why? I, I was a part of it this summer going over there and you play country quotas to get into a qualifier, to get into a tournament. There's just so many hurdles of entry out there. Right now, Rogers and Dahlhauser, are the number one USA team. Gibbon Rosenthal are number two right behind our Furbringer and Lucena. Two teams will qualify for the United States, we think. Furbringer and Furbringer showing his range, pops it off the block. Of course, there was talk about Olympic trials in 2012, but that idea seems to have gone away. Seems like a great idea for the next quadrille. Pro is brought to you by Jose Cuervo. Jose Cuervo reminds everyone to play hard and drink responsibly. By Mitch, by Paul Mitchell. Style isn't born, it's groomed. And by Spalding, the original and best ball on the beach. 